it's Stacy with As The Tea Brews and today I have a David's Tea unboxing. So I've cut the tape open um, but I'm going to unpack it with you guys. I have not ordered from David's Tea for a while because as most of you probably know, I have a lot of tea. I don't really need a lot and um, the summer teas don't usually appeal that much to me because I'm not a huge iced tea drinker. Every once in a while the girls and I think, oh hey, let's make a pitcher of iced tea but it's really not all that often. Um, that being said, I don't have a whole lot of teas that I like iced right now, so I kind of wanted to grab something that we, something new to try, and I also wanted to try um, a new brewer to make our iced tea, because I've got the iced tea maker that you fill up with ice and then you um, push down the, the plunger, um, but it's not my favorite and it's definitely not leak proof um, you know to take with us camping it's not super compact and so I wanted to try one of their other iced tea pitchers uh, to just make some iced tea and bring it with us on the road it's a little smaller and stuff so I've got that in here as well as some um, other things that I picked up and the free tea subscription box I did not subscribe to their um, subscription box because honestly I've tried so many of them and I don't know it just didn't appeal to me at the time but when the offer popped up um, when you spend I think it was $100, $99 or $100 you can get a free box I thought well that's a pretty good deal so I um, went ahead and put an order together okay so I've got my packing slip I've got some paper <clears throat> All right, so since I already told you this one, I will show you this first. I picked up their, I think it's called a favorite iced tea pitcher. Yes, favorite pitcher. And it has the infuser that you screw on the top and then you can remove the infuser. And I've read mixed reviews. Some people say there's this leak proof. When it's tilted on its side, some people say that it leaks. So either way, it's still a lot more slim and compact than the other one that I have. And so I am excited to try this one. Um, to make iced tea and the only reason I got the black one is because it was on sale. <laughs> um, I'm kind of a sucker for sale items so I don't remember how much it was on sale. I feel like it was close to $10 off but I can't remember for sure and then there was another percentage off plus the free tea box plus another free tea. So I got lots of free stuff and I got a really good deal on this stuff so I feel pretty good about it. Okay, so that is the first item. And I did say that I got some tea to make iced tea with. So the tea that I picked for that is Maui Madness. And I got two bags. I have not tried this one. It does sound good. Um, they don't have a description on here. So let's just open it and smell it. It smells very fresh and bright and mango-y. Um, it smells really good, actually, so I'm excited to try this one. The ingredients are candied pineapple, purple sweet potato. I think this one brews up like a nice pink color. Apple, orange peel, natural pineapple flavoring, kiwi, marigold flowers, natural flavoring with stevia extract, natural exotic flavoring. So, this one will be fun to try. And then the next thing I got, actually, which now I'm remembering is the real reason I ordered, but I ended up getting all the iced tea stuff to bump it, bump it up over 100. <laughs> um, so you may or may not know if you watch some of my videos, we love our favorite tumblers. We just really love them. Oh, this one is shiny. So um, we visited California, and while we were there, well, we took our tumblers with us in the car. We take them camping. We eat our smoothies out of these. We eat one to two smoothies a day, and we eat them out of these because it keeps them really cold for a long time, and I could take it with me, or you know, even just around the house, I eat it out of mine. Um, and when we go camping and stuff, we take these, and then we can fill up with ice and water or anything else we wanna drink, and that we just really like them. So, my husband left his there <laughs> at his mom's house and she's going to keep it nice and safe for us but in the meantime he does not have one and so he is missing his so this one um, 
was kind of the only manly-ish color that was on sale. I think this one was on sale. And uh, so I got him this silver one. So it is very shiny and silvery and reflective. <laughs> um, but that's okay. All right, and it comes with a straw and a brush to clean the straw. So we've got quite a few of these little straw cleaners. Okay, so the straw is black, or it's more of a smoky gray, and then the, the brush cleaner. And I, I use my tumbler every single day, multiple times a day. And so I decided to treat myself a little bit, and I picked up another one. So now I have two. So I picked up this one. Um, it's got some, it's a camellia blueberry. So I think it's the blueberry color, and it's supposed to be the camellia leaves. Uh, tea leaves on it, I believe, and the straw it looks like it comes with this pink. That's a pink straw, but this one's really pretty and colorful. It's light blue and it's got all kinds of flowers and leaves on there. Well, just a couple flowers, I guess, mostly leaves. Mostly leaves. Pink, green, yellow leaves, pink top. So I'm excited to have a second favorite tumbler. <laughs> My other one, uh, the bottom fell off and I have yet to replace it, to glue it back in. Um, so I have read that a lot of other people have had that issue as well, um, but I just really like these tumblers anyway. They hold a lot, they keep things really cold or hot, whatever you prefer, and they're just really handy. So um, I got myself that. Okay, and then I got a free tea for, I don't know what I got the free tea for. I think it was for ordering four ounces of tea. I believe because I ordered four ounces of loose tea, I got this free, or maybe it was, I think that's what it was, but um, they had a couple to choose from, and the one I picked is Salted Caramel Oolong, and I actually have not tried this one, but I did read that it sounded like something I might enjoy, so, you know what, let's just open it and smell it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't, I'm not a huge black tea fan, but I do like oolongs and puers and green and white. Hmm, it smells really good. It definitely smells like a salted caramel uh, beverage or drink or snack. Um, it's very, it smells very caramel. It smells good. Okay, I got another bag of Le Digestive. This is one tea that we cannot live without around here. We drink this every night. Not every night, but we drink this multiple nights a week. <laughs> Um, I only picked up one bag because I just kind of ordered enough just to get over that hundred dollars to get all the freebies that I wanted, um, knowing that I can just order more of this later. Hopefully, knock on wood, that they never discontinue it because I will be very sad. Um, let's see, I ordered, this is a new tea uh, to me. I haven't even paid attention to all of their new releases, but I saw this one and read the description and it sounded like something I might like to try. So I ordered a tin because I thought the tin was cute. It is a little bit dented. That happens sometimes. Um, Bumbleberry Burst. So this one is fruity and juicy fresh. It is a pu'er and it has apples, raisins, ginger, hibiscus, elderberry, carrots, blueberry, Garcinia, I don't know what that is. Raspberry, cornflower, nutmeg, stevia. So the bag is shoved inside this kind of rainbow, pastel rainbow tin. And I want to smell this one, but I think I might not be able to get this one open right now. There's no little knot to rip this open. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got two scissors and opened this up. Hmm. Okay, I don't know about this one. It smells spicy and gingery. Did I say that there was ginger in there? There is, it's like the fourth ingredient. It smells very gingery. Gingery and spicy and fruity. Okay, I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to um, give these all a try. Let me know in the comments below which ones you are most interested in seeing my opinion about. Got back in that tin. It's a cute tin. Okay, and the last thing in here is the free tea subscription box, which I actually 
haven't looked up to see which box it was, so it's a surprise to me. <laughs> I don't know if this is their first one, if they ordered too many. I don't know if it's the most recent one. I have no idea. Okay. Here's the box. And there's quite a few teas in here, actually. I didn't think that there was quite so many. It comes with a tin. I really don't like how this tin feels. It is their signature teal color, but it's like a matte. And it's, um, oh, it's kind of giving me the chills touching the edge of the outside of this. It's, I don't love the feel of this. Okay, it's very, very matte. We should have done these shiny or sparkly. That would have been cute. Um, so they have a David C. tin in here. And then, Tea Tasting Club. Here is a book. I think it has those teas, talks about the teas that are in here. Looks like a coupon maybe. Which is expired, the coupon's expired. <laughs> um, so this box must have been sometime between the first or second box. Um, there's just a little crossword puzzle in here. And oh, the second half is in, I'm guessing French. So half of this book is in English, half is in French. Uh, so it has how to steep, what you need to steep tea, and it talks about elements of all the different teas that are probably in this box. So that's kind of fun. That'll be fun to look at as I taste the teas and learn more about them. Okay, so the first one here is Organic Japanese Sencha. It says light and brisk. I have not tried this tea. Sencha is Japan's most popular drink for a reason. It's refreshing, revitalizing, and utterly delicious. This one is hand-picked. Okay, I don't actually know that I've ever tried a Sencha tea. Okay, the next one, Morning Detox. A mellow yet strong cooling cleansing blend with, with metabolism boosting apple cider vinegar powder. Well, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's a green tea with turmeric, ginger, orange peel, carrot, okay. I don't know. Apple cider vinegar has a very strong flavor. I don't know, we'll see, I'll have to see. Maybe I should do a video just tasting all the little tea box ones. That's probably old news to you guys, huh? Is this old news? Let me know in the comments below if I should do a, a tasting of all the different teas in the box. And also, let me know if you wanna see Abby or Ellie in the video too, because they haven't wanted to be in any videos lately. <laughs> Kids, they grow up. They move on. They don't want to spend time with their mom. Okay, the next one is Sweet Tart. And I have tried this one. It was just okay to me. But we can make it, we can make a picture of it with, uh, with our new favorite picture. Sweet Tart says, this juicy blend of cherries, hibiscus blossoms, and candy hearts will totally steal yours. It's a very popular tea. I've seen lots of people stocking up on this one because they really, really like it. So I think it's just me. It's just, I'm not a huge fruity, fruity tea fan, and I don't drink a ton of iced tea, and so I think that's why it's probably not one of my favorites, but um, you may really like it, so. Okay, the next one, Sunny Sea. And this one says, need a little immune booster? This vibrant tea is bursting with freshly squeezed orange, sight-saving carrot, and a dose of, and a sunny dose of vitamin C. So I did try this one, I think in one of the tea advent calendars, I believe. I didn't order it, so it must not have been a favorite, but I don't remember hating it either. So I'll have to try that one again. Here is another salted caramel oolong. Um, and I say another because I just got a bag of this for free. Um, in this order, so I have even more of it. So I hope that I like that one. I think that I will, I think I will like that one. Strawberries and cream, this is one I almost ordered. Mm, I don't know if it was this time or the last time because it sounded really good, but I didn't end up ordering. So now I'm glad that I have a little sample of it to try. An incredibly sweet and refreshing strawberry and cream flavored tea. Okay, it doesn't say a whole lot. Okay, the second to last tea, Organic Lemon Lullaby. And I don't think I've tried this one. A mellow yet intensely relaxing blend with valerian lemon oil and vervain. I don't like valerian. 
I'm scared to try Valerian again. I had some tea uh, from David's Tea with Valerian root years ago, and it gave me weird dreams. I don't know, it affected me weird. So I don't know if I want to try this one. I don't know if I'm going to drink this one or not. Let me know what you guys feel about um, valerian root in the comments. Has anybody ever had an experience like that or is it just me? Maybe it was just a weird coincidence, but I've been scared to drink it ever since. The last one is Organic Cold 911. And this one, um, it says it's deliciously smooth mix of peppermint, juniper berries, and eucalyptus. I don't like this tea. It's like a classic of David's tea. My husband likes it, so I'll do, I, we already have a tin of it. <laughs> I save just for if he's sick or not feeling well. Um, but I don't like it. I don't like the eucalyptus, I think. So, um, but I'll add that, add this to the tin or keep it as a refill for that most likely. So anyhow, that is the entire tea box. So it's a cute box and what is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight teas plus the tasting little book and the free tin in there. That's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Um, if I knew for a fact that they were going to be like maybe new teas or teas that I haven't tried, I may consider getting a tea box more regularly. Um, so maybe that's kind of why they're doing this, hoping to get more people to subscribe. I don't know. Or maybe they're just continuing their boxes. I really haven't kept up on it. So um, let me know in the comments below anything that I've talked about in the video that you want to comment on. If you've gotten a tea box, if you've tried these teas, if you want me to do any reviews. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is fun. This is a lot of fun stuff here to try. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.